Okay, Ithaca, New York, Cornell University. It is the only Ivy League school that produces its own chocolate milk, but will it make the grade? Okay, let's see. Yeah, so I've been to Ithaca twice before in the last three years to Cornell, specifically to get the chocolate milk. I've been unsuccessful. It's been during the winter and during the summer when they weren't producing it or they didn't have any in stock. So I uh, just did call ahead, so they should have some now. Cool, you can kind of oversee the operations here at the dairy bar. It doesn't look like anything's running at the moment. It is Tuesday afternoon, but it's not during the school year. But it's a really nice facility here. Okay, cheers. It's been several years in the, in the making here, so finally. Okay, interesting. Wow. You know, this is 1%, but this is actually remarkably flavorful for 1%. This puts my alma mater, Wisconsin, to shame, which was very, it was 1%, but it was very flat and uninteresting. And this is also a noticeable step above NC State's 1% chocolate milk. So, you know what? This is one of the better 1% I've had in a long time. You can almost fool yourself into thinking that this is 2%. It's very chocolatey and there's a saltiness on the back end, which I think cleans everything up and it keeps it from having any sort of a weird aftertaste. It really, for me, accentuates the cream and the chocolate and everything, ties everything together. This is really good, really good 1%. Well done, Cornell Dairy. That was worth the wait. Side Hill Acres from Candor, New York. This is chocolate goat milk. I'm not in Candor right now. I didn't make it all the way down to the farm, but I was able to pick this up at Green Star in Ithaca. So I did have this back, uh, I think on New Year's Day 2018, and I remember describing this as a good entry level chocolate goat milk. But in terms of chocolate flavor, it's not very strong. In terms of goat flavor, it's not very strong. So this would be a good entry level goat milk for someone that was nervous about trying it. It's not offensive at all. Now we don't drink chocolate milk for it not to be offensive. We drink chocolate milk for the flavor, and this just doesn't have it. But it is nicely creamy, despite there being some pieces of cream that didn't mix in. I had to shake this pretty vigorously. The chocolate is at the bottom initially when you get it and you gotta shake it up. It's pleasant, don't get me wrong. I've had much stronger goat milk, and that could be a bad thing too, much stronger taste than goat milk. But personally, I don't mind the taste. I like a little bit of a reminder as to what I'm drinking. Side Hill Acres, Kander, New York. It's, you know, kind of South Central New York. If you like goat milk products, check them out. I drank too much last night, got bills to pay, my head does feels in pain. Okay, well another one in the books. Uh, this kind of closes the loop on New York State. These are two New York State chocolate milks that didn't crack the top 10. I guess technically the top 11 since there was an honorable mention. I'll put the link up here uh, for that video. Both of these chocolate milks did have merits in their own right. I guess there's one more still that uh, definitely didn't crack the top 10. It would be the bottom one. And uh, here's my experience with that. No offense, Stewart's. I'll be winners. I did like the Stewart's extra rich chocolate milk quite a bit. This stuff, the chocolate dairy shake, is brutal. Oh my God. It's 370 calories per cup which is astronomical. I've only seen a handful of products that can rival that. Oh, I mean, it's indulgent, I guess, but it's just so incredibly sweet. It's, it's too much, honestly. I don't know who would want this shit. So here it goes. Sorry, Stuart, it's nothing personal. Stains the bowl. Classy. It reminds me that it's not so bad. It's not so bad. 